if we could have a blank sheet of paper, it would enable us to realise all our ambitions that we've had for years and years, to bring the groups of people that can't currently work together together, to do the big experiments, the new experiments, all the sorts of things we've been trying to do for years. Imperial College is about excellence. We're very good at what we do, we're a very good team to work with, and we aim to solve fundamental questions. Innovation underpins everything that we do uh, in terms of economic growth and ultimately solutions to human well-being and to environmental concerns. So it's a fundamental and we need new spaces to, to innovate in. London has long been a global hub for industry, innovation and scientific inspiration. The most connected city in the world, a magnet for talent, it's the perfect place to discover and innovate. And that's what we've been doing here at Imperial College, in the heart of London, for more than a century. I think one of the greatest appeals of being an Imperial academic is the opportunity to apply one's research to the benefit of others. So, for example, industry, um, commerce and society more broadly. We're already a world-renowned institution. But there are many occasions where I turn around and say, no, I'm sorry, I can't do that. We don't have the space, we don't have the time. So by expanding, we can say yes to a lot more of those opportunities. Collaboration is vital. Imperial cannot solve global problems alone. Our success relies on partnerships with business, industry, the healthcare sector, and other academic institutions across the world. Imperial College is striving for excellence in everything we do in terms of our teaching, in terms of our research, but it's also about building a culture. And Imperial West, it seems to me, gives us just such a place where we can bring new academics together, work together and do all the sorts of exciting things that we've wanted to do for years. We wanted a space that was designed to bring together thousands of researchers and scientists with innovators and global business partners so we could turn good ideas into brilliant solutions and make a real difference to the economy and society. That's exactly what Imperial West will do. The plan is taking shape. On the new campus in White City, over 500 postgraduate students are already based in accommodation of the highest quality. I'm front of house receptionist, so I maintain front of house. I look after the students here, anything they need, any queries, post deliveries, broken microwaves, that's what I'm there for. Now this is here, it's really good that we've got something else local, so all the local communities will have job opportunities here. This, this venture will bring something like 3,000 new jobs to this area. Um, we're already the home to uh, some world-beating enterprises and businesses, and to have Imperial here will be really great. We've got a very vibrant community, uh, and we're very well connected to the rest of London and to the UK as a whole. There's a clear connection between high-quality research and innovation, and at Imperial West, we'll make that link even stronger. It's something we're good at. Over the last decade, we've enabled more than 140 new companies to develop and commercialise ideas and inventions from Imperial academics. Imperial West will help us generate even more and do it on an unprecedented scale here in London. DNA Electronics has already moved west. I represent one of many spin-outs from Imperial College, but we decided to move to West London for two really, really important reasons. One was we've taken the academic science out of the institution into a place that really does allow people to sort of create gender productivity. But the beauty of where we are, we're very close to the Hammersmith Hospital. It's a great location for visitors. They see this as representative of Imperial College in its science and technology, but with that edge of commercialization and that's what really makes it. The strategy is a powerful one. To build a new ecosystem for research and innovation that will have global reach. We can see opportunities of working in ways that haven't been done before, to challenge science and business to come together in a 21st century environment to put ideas into practice. That means innovating the innovation process. We need new space to do that. 
In new affordable and flexible facilities, business and industry partners will tap into Imperial's expertise, keeping pace with the changing focus of scientific discovery. Global companies such as Shell see value in such collaboration. Imperial West, as a major research centre now in London, will further contribute to the Imperial College and establish the college as a leader in innovation and will actually contribute further but also hopefully bring in other industries so that we can actually have a more combined R&D effort for the longer term. Imperial is already a lively presence in South Kensington and now with Imperial West focusing on translational research, on taking the great ideas from Imperial out into the wider world, it's a really exciting development. The government strongly supports it and look forward to seeing it thrive and grow in the future. Imperial West will be an inspirational space focused on driving new ideas, new technologies and inventions and adding value not only to Imperial College but also to London, the United Kingdom and the global community. It's a bold vision, a step change in Imperial's ambition and it's about to become real.